So what excites you about working on this project, a medieval steampunk fantasy film? Well, one, I've never done a steampunk fantasy medieval looking set. So I'm diving in full head into this as a newbie and I'm learning so much about it, which is really interesting for me. Um, it's also really interesting because there's already a there's already a base, there's already something to work from. I don't have to, I don't have to create it out of my head or out of my mind. It's, it's in a book, which also is kind of a challenge. Um, I think that's my, my favorite part is that it's new to me and that I get to try it all. Now. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's, what's one of the main challenges that you face? Uh, the fact that it's also a book is one of the main challenges because everybody already has an idea of what they they think the book is, how the how the set's built around the characters, and they already have an idea of what it looks like. So for me, by, to, by they you mean readers of the book? Oh yes, the fandom. Everybody, everybody who reads it has an idea, has a different idea, or so, most of them align to approximately the same thing, but there are details that maybe I've missed that talking to the crew, they've brought things to light for me. And maybe I brought something to them too. And that's one of the challenges, but it's also a really great gift, I feel, just mm -hmm. because I get so many different inputs and I can kind of narrow it down to a unified look. Now, maybe you've been a part of a fan base that uh, was really excited about a film and then that film came out and you with thousands of them were like, what were they thinking? Why is Percy Jackson 18? Why does Annabeth have brown hair? You know, like all of those decisions. And so now you're responsible for bringing something to life that fans are passionate about. And you said one of the challenges is taking that into account. Um, obviously, like the most important people you're working with is the director and the, and the crew and everyone else. But how, what is a way that you have taken fan ideas into account? Well, one way that I do it is through the actors. I, I tend to like to know what the actors feel and how they, how they feel their character surrounds themselves so that I can get a feel for them and to have them connect with the set. But also I just talk to everybody that I can and everybody that's working on this project is a fan as well. So that also helps when I'm trying to get in contact with fans and to get to know what they feel they want the project to look like. 